I do politics. We're joined today by Osage Izeyama, who is a member of the People's Democratic Party. Morning and thank you for coming on thank today. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. Well, let's get you. We'll get your response on a number of issues. And perhaps we should start with this comment, which I imagine you might have heard or read about. Let's listen to it. I made him a governor. How can you say that? How can you say that? Who know you? By 2007, Pastor Ezeyama on election day was restricted by EFCC. He couldn't come out for fear of arrest. Lucky Benigio, in an interview that was published in about four newspapers, there was a particular paragraph that I think is very indicative. He said, I believe that is Lucky speaking. Lucky says he believed in the rotational policy of PDP. And based on that rotational policy, according to Lucky Benigio, he felt that after his tenure, power should shift to Edo Central, where Chief Aneni come from. While he was in agreement with Aneni that the power should shift to Edo Central, unknown to him, some of his, uh, one of his supporters who had political ambition to succeed him was working against that zone. And that's what created problem that has led to a fight between him, Lucky, and Chief Aneni. And I left for him, he had excellent relationship with the chief now. Who is that person who had political ambition? It's Pastor Ezeyama. Because okay. he formed the Grace Group to try to fight from inside because he wanted to be governor after Lucky Benedio. And if you ask Lucky, he will tell you as far back as 2003, the day his second term uh, election was announced, Pastor went to uh, Lucky's father to plead in company of another uh, ACL leader who is currently out of the country. But after Lucky, he will want to be the next person. Pastor Zayamu had made statements at, um, I remember at BIU, uh, Bessie Dawsa University, when they gave him an award to the effect that, you know, he, he won against corrupt practices when he was secretary to government, he was ignored. He did draw attention to infrastructural decay in the state, nobody listened. And those people were laughing because you were the edgy block. How could you file a disclaimer as secretary to government? You are not known to have resigned. In that state government, Charles Idaosa, who was commissioner for information, had reason to resign. War Reverend Garewa also had reason to resign. What's going on here? Well, thank you very much. Uh, actually, on the day he gave this interview, incidentally, that day was my birthday. So I had uh, breakfast with a couple of friends. And uh, I didn't watch it, but I was getting phone calls that uh, the governor was on channels and he spent all the time talking about me and insulting me. I said, well, I'll find time to watch it. And I remember late that night, the same governor called me to wish me happy birthday. And I said, you are calling me at night, but I heard you on uh, channels in the morning insulting me. He said, no, he didn't insult me. He was just reacting to what I said. I said, okay. I would watch it, then I would react. But let me say that uh, it's sad that uh, the governor would talk the way he's talking because uh, in, uh, with all modesty, God used me to assist him he said on election day I was restricted, but he knows that I coordinated his election. That was it 2007. Will, 2007, which will interest you to note that even at 10 a.m. on election day, Adam Sushu Moli called me to say that he wasn't doing it again, that he was coming back to Benin to address a press conference, that my practices were too much, and that uh, he has told them to call a press conference for him. I told him on the phone he should go back to his village. How can you on election day say you are going back? Who's going to listen to you? Election has started. Just give the thing a chance. After election, we can compare notes. You need to go back. He said, I'm sure. I said, go back. We are doing election already in Benin. What are you talking about coming to Benin to do a press conference? Nobody will listen to you. Go back. He now told me he was doing a U-turn at Auchi Polytechnic. And he turned. And later, when he, when he was declared governor, I told him, you remember the day you called me? If you had not called me and you had come to Benin to say you were withdrawing, will you be governor? And he laughed and he thanked me. This is just one among several incidents. The 
many of the local governments on that day, he doesn't know what happened. I coordinated them. And when they announced that he lost, I asked him that evening, where was he? He called me again to say, where does he meet me? I tell him, come to Bretty Bunedion's house and let's work out a plan to deal with this issue. I was the one who set up a team immediately that night to begin to collate results on what was to be done. He came there alone, totally dejected. When money was being put together for the election, a day or two before, I asked him who coordinated it. And let me say categorically that all the money that was used for the election came from two principal sources. One I would not like to mention. The second one from Captain Osa, who in this interview, he mentioned as one Captain Osa, a man who was your benefactor, a man who gave you all the money for your election. Now you refer to him as one Captain Osa, simply because they have seen through you and they have moved. They have moved on. It's unfortunate. He could not even bring money for his election. People gave him money, but he used it for other things. The money that was used for his election came from two sources, and I coordinated it. Well, let me tell you how we came together. He came to me when I was SSG. I said he would like to be governor, and he needed my support. And I told him, but have you not also heard I'm interested? He said, yes, he heard, but he would like to appeal to me and all that. And I said, well, go on with your consultations, but your labor team won't fly. He said, well, if I'm ready to assist him, he will be willing to come anywhere. I said, okay, let's give it a thought. Later, we decided to support him. And he, he, he has moved from one place to the other because he started with the PDP. He went to the PDP. And the PDP told him he can't run on PDP. They won't give him a chance there. He went to AMPP, and that created some problems there. Then he decided to come up with Labour Party. The Labour Party thing wasn't working, then he came to me. He came to me several times, and eventually I said, okay, we will support you. And the incident he was talking about, he was quoting Lucky Bunedion. Even that statement shows why he should be grateful to me. Because if Lucky Bunedion and Chief Anani had agreed that the governorship should go to Edo Central, where he doesn't come from, and I opposed it, and ensure that the governorship now went to a door not where it comes from. It was my gratitude. What he couldn't fight, I fought. And my argument then was very simple. I said, look, if you are talking about rotation, as far as I'm concerned, the only senatorial that has not gotten governorship, he said, do not, where Adam Sushomali comes from. Ali, Professor Ambrose Ali, came from Central. Oyegu, of course, Lucky Benedion, they came from Edo South. So if you want to talk about, let's rotate this thing, then equity demands that the thing should go to a donut. But if you don't want to talk about equity, then let anybody run. That was my argument in Grace Group. You know, and everybody keyed into it. And I was the one who told people in a donut that, quite honestly, if governorship is to rotate anywhere, it should be going to their place. So Shomole should appreciate the fact that that my fight brought this emergence. And it should be grateful What's to me. What's happening now? Exactly. Sorry, I'm off. Mm -hmm. What is happening now? Because you have left the APC, right? You're now a member of the PDP. Yeah. Uh, well, Chamberlain asked then while you sat if you were going to stay with the PDP and not move back to the APC. What is happening in Edo now that you are in the PDP? Thank you. Uh, I chose to leave the APC because I don't believe in hypocrisy. If I leave a system hoping to create a better one and I find out that what I thought would be a better alternative has even become worse than uh, where I was before, I'm not the kind of person that will pretend I'll be detained in that place. Can we link your movement to what is happening in the Edo State House of Assembly? Yes. Family? Now, we decided to leave. And the same Oshobole who is talking now, and of course, who created the situation that has led to the collapse of APC in Edo State, was all over the place, appealing to us. There was one day he stayed in my house from 10 to 5 a.m. And yet he wants to say as if who is Isaiah Yamu. Isaiah Yamu was the general of your campaign. Isaiah Yamu was your national vice chairman. 
Is there a Yamu you recommended to be a caucus member, a position held only by uh, former national chairmen, former governors, and former ministers? Which position did I not hold in the APC? These are even positions that you recommended me for. So when you try to now believe to me, I think you are only giving the impression that you are not to be taken seriously. But I'm not the first person that left. Since I left the APC, Oshomole wakes up, no, he yeah, sleeps yeah, with his yeah, Ayamu. All he talks about is his Ayamu. I call him the uh, uh, respect of his office. Sorry, Don't, the Don't governor of the state. Yes, because you see, I watched this. I watched the interview. All the question, the, the question they asked him was the situation in the Doha House of Assembly. What was your take on it? And then the next thing, Pastor Isaiah Yamu, I'm not a member of the House of Assembly. He spent close to 30 minutes talking about me. And every day now he talks, it has become a dangerous obsession. What you talk about is Isaiah Yamu, Isaiah Yamu, Yamu. You know, but you can't detain me. I must not continue to be in the same party with you. You know, and if you think I'm not important, why are you talking about me so what much? Do you know